Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Thanks to Aurora, we're going to make some goat cheese today. The goats gave us a lot of milk this morning, so I'm going to make goat cheese with this goat cheese kit. From the kit, I'll be using the Direct Set Chev Culture and the Butter Muslin. Additionally, you'll need a dairy thermometer, slotted spoon, colander, large bowl or pot, one gallon of goat's milk, and a large stainless steel pot. Make sure you're not using any aluminum pans. Unchipped enamel, glass, or stainless steel are great for cheese making. Start by boiling some water. We're going to sterilize the utensils for about 20 minutes in boiling water. Remove your utensils and plug your sink and then you're going to pour your boiling water into the sink. Add the goat's milk to the empty pot. Set the pot into the hot water in the sink. Stir the milk top to bottom like this. Heat the milk to 80 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. When it comes up to temperature, just remove it from the water and then we're going to add the culture. Sprinkle the Chev Direct Set culture over the top of the milk. Let the culture set for two minutes to rehydrate. This culture has rennet already included. Stir in the culture top to bottom thoroughly to make sure the culture is evenly distributed. Cover the pot and then set it aside for 20 to 24 hours. Keep it in a warm part of the room during this period. A cool oven is a good place to leave it undisturbed. When you see a clear separation between the whey and the solids, your milk is ready. It's time to separate the curds from the whey. Set a colander inside of a large bowl and then line it with the muslin that comes in your goat cheese kit. Gently ladle your curds into the muslin. Having this bowl under the colander allows you to save the whey, which you can give to your dogs, your cats, you can feed it to your chickens, you can even feed your tomatoes with it. Now we're going to drain the curd. Tie up your butter muslin with kitchen twine. If you tie it with bunny ears, it makes it easy to hang. Now we need to drain the curds for 6 to 12 hours. Hang the cheese over a large pot to drain. Once your curds have reached the desired consistency, you can mold them using these molds that come in the cheese kit. Or you can form them into loose logs by hand. I'm going to be adding about a teaspoon of salt. This is not for taste. This is part of the recipe, so don't leave this step out. Spread out the cheese and work in the salt and then form it into a log. If you leave the salt out, the bacteria will continue to grow and it will cause the cheese to have an off flavor. If you want to freeze your cheese, do it before you add the salt. I'm going to form this cheese into two logs so that I can flavor it with two different seasonings. This type of cheese is called chèvre and chèvre is the French word for goat. Nothing like fresh herbs for flavoring your cheese. If your chèvre has been frozen, thaw it and then salt it and then add the herbs. Using fruits and herbs from the garden, this log is flavored with dried Meyer lemon rind, rosemary, sage, basil, parsley, and marjoram. This recipe calls for Moroccan herbs. I've mixed black pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, cumin, and ground coriander. You can either add your herbs while you're mixing the cheese, or you can add an herb crust on the outside like I've done. Either way, They'll last for about two weeks in the refrigerator. Enjoy them and grow organic for life.